But like because I'm relying because I'm relying on the dark vision too much, I like I'm not using my basic senses and scouting the area. Elixir is supposed to prevent the plague sickness, fight it off. But someone poisoned the bootleg still, and now we got the elixir that gives you the plague. Oh yeah, I didn't infect it, that's right. What that word means, idiot. Well, how would I know? It's some other word then. Anyway, I almost feel sorry for the poor fool that drank that bad elixir. I wonder if it's a good idea. Maybe like the citizens also drink the elixir too, but like, this is a warehouse of bad people. Maybe everybody is bad, objective, objectively. Who knows? No, I'm relying on this way too much. Would there be more rats? And because, like, you know, like I'm assuming the the rats would come by to eat the corpses and everything. But if you Turn them into ash because of that one perk. Would it would it still count? Technically, I like I don't think it should affect it. Let's say you kill like like 90%. Like let's say you kill 50%. There's a change. Let's say you kill 100% of all the enemies. There's a massive change. But that's because like the rats are attracted to like the dead bodies and they eat it and shit like that. But if you turn it into ash. You would think that it wouldn't, right? But I think just for the game's purposes, I think any killing, any lethal killing, killing is lethal. I think anything would uh, do it. <coughs> We're just gonna try to be as stealthy as possible. I really want to get another round of a uh, Metal Gear Solid after this game. Played number one long time ago. Long time ago. Would love to play it again. So what are we doing for Slapjaw? You just need a bit. Ain't you heard? Slapjaw keeps the good stuff for himself. Rest of us get one part of lick. So what are we doing with Slapjaw? I wasn't paying attention. I was paying attention to this stuff, but hmm. Yeah, because I, I would like. Yeah. Three parts water. Just a little more information oh, as to what to I'm doing here. Well, I ain't taking no chances on getting the play. Drink till you drop. That's my motto. Right, they walk away. They walk away. Take him on one by one guy at a time. That's not really happening, is it? No, no. That guy, that guy walking by is a little bit too close. I love how you can pull the bodies back even as you're choking them. Like, I think it's a really nice feature. Chances are he, they may be, if there is another guy patrolling, they may see the sword, or just a guy missing. But I doubt it. They don't usually, most games, they don't usually ever say, oh, the, the guy's missing, unless it's like a specific, like, specially important, like, NPC that you're knocking out or something, right? But, like, goons and thugs like these guys, they don't care. Alright, map hacks. We got map hacks. We got map hacks. I am not going to shy away from using it. I quite need it. I quite need it. I kind of not sure what I'm doing. I'm just, like, this is before the uh, the chaos and everything. I'm gonna just make another save. I told you guys, right? Like, there's two types of people. I'm kind of both when it comes to saving. He is a villain, if I judge your looks are right. A villain I might have some work for. Somebody put plague in the brute tank. Half my men are weepers. Trapped three of them in the distillery. Rest are wandering in the street. Since it's so, and I find myself short of able bodies, I may have a point of interest for you, see? 
I mean, I'm the one who poisoned it. Right? Way I yeah. Figured, yeah. There ain't nobody worth killing around here except those two Pendletons over at the Golden Cat. I'm right, ain't I? See, slack your nose. Them boys are twins. Rich, mean, and weird. Worse than most of their ilk. They've been laying low there a while. Not sure why. There's a lot of security at the Golden Cat tonight, though. Special guests and the like. But you're gonna walk in there, dressed like that, and kill the Pendleton brothers? Maybe I got a better way to take care of them, too. If you're doing something for me first, understand? Someone, I don't know who, is killing my men, taking my territory, stealing my goods. Might be a fellow name of Galvani. I sent my best man to investigate, but he went missing and... Well, now I need someone to find what happened to him. Go to this Galvani's place. He lives nearby off I've been there, though. Boulevard. You do that for me, and I'll get your better way into the Golden Cat. So, is this guy is this guy evil? All right, optional me with okay. Optional slack just missing man Crawley entered Galvani's office. So, is is he evil? I mean, like he, this is like where the thugs are and everything. Thugs automatically just like want to beat the shit out of you for some reason. So, I'm just gonna let's just do all the options really. Enter Galvani's office. See, like, I just want to read a little bit more backstory, see if they have anything, right? Because the only thing you can do is objective marker. Pressing Y doesn't really do anything. It's just to show history, but, like, can I... Oh, my God. I didn't notice the change in text. The, uh, the, the... Okay, because I completed this one. That's what show history is. Okay. Okay, we are evolving. I'm evolving. I'm learning how to play this game. I am learning. That Galvani is a leech. A doctor, they call him now. Get into his office and you can find out what happened to my man who vanished. Hmm. But, would, would the enemy, would the, would the guys here still be hostile towards me? Should I, should I test it? Or should I just go? I'm not really too sure, actually. Because I'm working for the guy now. But... Do they still get triggered? Do they still get triggered? I'll test, this, I'll test with this one guy. And then I'll kill him right away. You know what? You know I'll save, I'll save, I'll save. Is it just me? Like, I don't know if they're actually hostile. I gotta check. Because there's no point in stealthing around then. Oh wow, I can actually talk to them. Don't make me take that away from you. I can actually talk to them. I didn't think that worked before when I was working for Granny's. Granny Rags. But, but you know what? They're thugs. I don't like them. Who cares? So were they always on our side? I'm pretty sure they were hostile as shit before, right? All of a sudden, they got a change of heart. Ooh, look, he's armed. No, I'm taking I'm taking out all you guys. I'm taking out all you guys out. It's more fun that way. Honestly, it's just more fun that way. Leave none of them alive. The one guy down here. Oh no, he did he wake up? I think he woke up. Yeah, let's just let's just go. Let's just go. So none of these guys are actually hostile. At least right now. What the fuck? That's a weeper. That's different. That's that's a weeper. That's different. That's different, okay. So all the ones outside are weepers. Just the ones inside of the thugs and breeze. Why is this so confusing for me? I don't feel like I should be lost, but like my moral code with the character is just or the the relationship just it's kinda iffy. It's just a little bit iffy. It just wasn't that clear to me, and I think I'm just being an idiot for it, really. That's pretty much all there is, I'm just an idiot. Yeah, let's get out. No! No! 
Bonnell Street. Bonnell Street. Hmm. But you know what the fun thing about this game is? Even if it's just a civilian, I'm still probably gonna take them out either way. So it doesn't make too much of a difference for me. One, two, three, four, five. I could just keep teleporting. This game would be so intense without teleport because, like, I rely on these abilities a little bit too much, right? <laughs> Alright, take them out. But if I knock them unconscious, do they wake up? Do they wake up eventually? Maybe. Maybe.